Hello friends, welcome to this session. We are going to learn in this session DynamoDB lab and uh, we will create the table here and we'll do the operations. So let's start. So let's create a table here. Okay, so basically we give the, this is the new table creation form and we will give the table name primary key and uh, other configuration so in primary key we will give the uh, one id for the indexing and basically you can save as many as data you want in this particular table but uh, you can correlate all data with this id okay so i have, I have given here id uh, with uh, string Type and this is the default uh, this is the configuration which we uncheck default it will give so here is the read capacity and uh, write capacity you can see so you you if you give the auto scaling on then it will be defining but when you do the op you will give the it will give, uh, give the option for the configuration read and write capacity and based on the configuration it will give the estimation cost to you so, so you can also calculate the cost based on your requirement so basically you have to pass the value here and with unit it will be change uh, your estimation cost okay so if you want to give the auto scaling then it will give the utilization of the configuration for auto scaling and it will define the role of uh, default for auto scaling or you can also specify your existing or created based on your configuration so here we are going with the default so let's create the table So it's creating okay so you can see the status here will take bit time not too much okay now your table is created so you can see the configuration detail here so in over your tab you will find the, all the details of your table and here you can see this configuration details for your table name primary key and tt l time state table status the other configuration also you can see the item in that item you will find the actual data which created in your table here we have not uh, created any data just created the uh, phrase table so no data here you can see the id only filled there okay in matrix will give the configuration details so you can create a different kind of matrix in alarm you can see the alarm details you can create the alarm for based on the read capacity write capacity and consume what kind of consume capacity is used so you can see the configuration so if i want to give the more than 70 percent and in capacity you can configuration do the configuration for your unit okay so let's create a new uh, data here so i'm adding one data here so in id i'm giving the value you can see and uh, see the value so i created one data here and with value is 100 id So when you click on 100 it will give the same data if you if you want to add the new uh, row here you can also append and so i am passing in the name and uh, visualization so the name will automatically added here so you can see that this is very flexible structure of database you can also append or uh, create a delete operation so it's really very so it's identical with the id this thing automatically read to create and track 
with the ID or ID indexing. So this is the text field. Um, here the JSON format will be used. So when you want to add, you just have to the follow the uh, JSON format. So I'm creating one more field. So giving the mobile number fields and I'm passing the number here. Just you have to mention that uh, JSON valid JSON format. So now the mobile number will be automatically field is added. So the, you can just see that it's very easy to add the field also. Okay, so you can also do the operation through the CLI also. Let's try to understand how to do the with CLI. So um, this is the AWS uh, uh, getting the information command. So AWS DynamoDB get item will get the uh, fetch the information from the database and it hyphen hyphen table name and I am giving the name of my uh, table is my database uh, hyphen hyphen key is uh, actually actually it will fetch the details of your key so here I am giving the uh, ID is my key and the key type is a string so I am passing the S string is a um, data type and under is a value so you can see this is the syntax for getting the uh, information from the table. Okay, so this is the data against this ID is saved in this particular table. So when you pass uh, 101, so no data is data available for this ID, so no data returns here. Okay, so we can also uh, add the uh, in this uh, particular table from CLI. So you have just have to create one uh, JSON here. So I'm creating one JSON here and uh, this is JSON. So name is and I have given the ID is 101. So you can just identical that's uh, 100 uh, uh, ID is there and 10 was uh, 101 was not available. So this will create a new records with the 101 ID. Okay, so JSON is uh, now, uh, this is the JSON format and I'm just saving this JSON format. Okay, so here the Syntax is uh, put item and uh, this is the same as uh, get item. So I'm giving the file name with uh, hyphen hyphen item and this JSON file will be uploaded in the database. So you can see the table name is the same and uh, I'll change the uh, key as a file item here. So let's see. Okay, so command is pass. Let's replace the here so we can see. Okay, you can see the here new record is created here. So you can see the new record created with the 101 ID and see the things here. I have given the name and in this the JSON, I have given the name is N is caps and introduce the N is small. So it's cre it created again the with new field as this field is not mapped and S name is the different. So it's created here so let's this is the thing that the name is key value is identical so you have to give the same as uh, created before so I'm creating changing the let's change the name here so this is the get item and we got the 101 ID information here with the get item command so let's change the key of name is small and save. Let's put again the put item. Okay. And let's verify in the console. So you can see the name will reflect as previous one with small names. 
this is very uh, easy to do the operation with get item and port item you can see here you can also update the column here as we did in UI so I'm updating here the one new field here so to giving the gender and uh, so here we are passing the format so input type is a string and passing the value here let's pass is mail okay and uh, this is the json is uh, just we have to close the one bracket here so we have give the one we didn't close the bracket here just we need to make sure that your format should be valid json so you need to make sure your json would be the valid okay let's close this parenthesis and let's again put the thing uh, same item so this will run here and uh, here the new gender column will be added okay for 101 id okay guys so this is the uh, basic uh, operations for uh, DynamoDB and uh, how to create the table and how to add a new record, how to append record, what is the CLI commands and how to get the command uh, information of table through the CLI and how to put the uh, new records information in the particular database table. So I hope you got the idea about the DynamoDB and uh, thank you for watching this video. Please share, subscribe and like the video and uh, please share your valuable feedback on the same youtube video comment line thank you thank you for watching this video